How to read cryptocurrency charts easy tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm giving you a tutorial on how to read a cryptocurrency chart as a complete beginner. So let's get started. First, what you guys need to do is you will open up your crypto platform, any platform you are using. I am using Binance.com. Binance.com is world's leading crypto platform, allows us to buy, sell, and trade crypto. And we I personally use Binance for my trading and the chart is also really easy to use. Now, when it comes to a crypto chart, whenever you select any coin, any perpetual, even if you are doing leverage trading, spot trading, margin trading, you're dealing with futures, you will get a trading chart like this. So how to read it? Because that's the important part when it comes to trading with crypto. You need to understand how to read a chart so that you can make an informed decision that the, the coin that you're going to be investing in, if it's worth it or not, what's happening to your coin to keep track of everything, you need to read the chart. So that's what we will cover today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take you to the trade right here and I'm going to open up the sport trading for Binance. You can first select, you can go to the marketplace of your platform as well and select your perpetual your payer first so i have selected btc and usdt whenever you select a coin a leverage a future this is where you will get now you are here let me show you what are the different options we have and i will keep it very simple for you guys so that as a complete beginner you don't get scared with all of this information this is the coin name that you have selected and the pair name if you want to change this, you will get the market right here, the trends. So you can switch the pairs anytime you want to. Let's say I have checked BTC and USDT. This is the one that I selected. Maybe I want to see what's happening with the BNB. I want my main chain to be BNB. Select BNB from here and it will show you all of the pairs with BNB. Select the one you want to check out and it will open up the chart and the order book for that particular pair for you. So this is how you select it. Once you have selected, this is going to be the live price. Keep in mind, the prices I am showing you are at the time of making this video. One more thing, I am not a financial advisor. This is not a financial video. I'm not suggesting to use any of the pair, to invest in any of the coins. I'm just showing you around how to use a chart. Also, the charts are quite similar on all of the other platforms. So if you're wondering, okay, this is just about Binance, what about Bybit, what about KuCoin? So you will notice all of the platforms have the similar window right here and the chart. So next we have 24 hour high, 24 hour low for this one, 24 hour volume for BTC and USDT, the ones that I've selected. So this is the basic information. Then we have spot tutorial and spot guidance. Moving on. This is our chart right here. This is the order book and we can switch the layout of the order book according to us. So this is for the, the order book. We can go with the buy order or we can also switch to the sell order and check out the order book here. This is our chart. First of all, you can expand the view with this option right here and it will open up the chart for you on a full window like this. So this is our chart. You can see we have a graph given. With graph, you will find the green lines, which is going to be the positive change. And then we have red, which is going to be the negative change. As the graph, you can see if it's high, that means the prices are going high. When it gets low, that means the prices are getting low. You can move your cursor around to kind of like check any point. Let's say I want to check what happened here. It will show me the high at that time, at that moment, then we have the low, everything will be shown here. First, you can also select the time here. If you want to check a one second graph, a daily, weekly, monthly, you can select from here. Then we have our technical indicator. This is important. Click on technical indicator and then it will show you the different indicators that you want to check out. Let's say I want to actually check out the accumulation and distribution. So I'm going to select it and it will show me the accumulation and distribution. I can switch to another one, for example, the average price Select it, and it will show you the average prices. So the indicator is really an important option when it comes to reading a crypto chart. So you can see these are going to the script names and you can actually explore 
right here. You don't need to type in actually, you will be able to find right here. And let's say I am actually looking for a linear. So I'm going to linear right here. Yes, escalators. So it will show me like this. So according to the indicators, the graph, the chart will be changed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to again actually take it to the accumulation and distribution maybe. And you can see all of the different indicators have been added right here. And we can, of course, becoming complicated, get rid of the indicators. So that's what I'm going to do now. And I will take it back to my simple chart. But this is how you will go with the indicators. And you can add an indicator like accumulation and distribution right here at the bottom. Let's remove it. This is remove. This is double click. So I'm just going to remove. This is our main, you know, again, our chart. Moving on, we have display settings. So we can also customize our chart according to the display, open order or order history. We can also take a snapshot, click on this plus icon and compare. So we can actually add more than one chart. This is the dual chart option. We can add and compare two symbols. Let's say I have BTC in USDT. I want to compare it with BNB and USDT. So I will just click on this plus button and I will be able to add another symbol. Then we have the views. This is also important. Original, trading or depth. So this is going to be the original right here. Then we have trading view and depth view. So we kind of keep it to the trading view because it gives you more options and it gives you the, the trading insight of the pair. Let's actually switch to the depth view as well to show you. This is what the depth view looks like. This is actually, I would say, a little more update to kind of like get a really depth view into your perpetual or into your pair. So I'm going to switch to trading view again. I showed you all of the options right here at the top. Now let's move on to these tools here. First of all, we have this tool, which is the cross and I will just select it and it will give me an arrow dot or, you know, a cross. You can see right now we have a cross. If you want to switch it to an arrow, then it will be switched to an arrow. When you move on your chart, I'm going to keep it to the cross. Then we have all of these tools are to use on the chart while you're reading it. Then we have a trend line, arrow, ray, extended line trend angle, horizontal line, cross line, and a lot of other lines just to kind of like mark different things on our chart. Let me actually give you a quick, you know, demonstration. So I have selected a line. Let me actually just draw it very randomly to show you. This is how you draw a line. Let's say I have a price here and I want to kind of like keep track of it. So this is how you will draw and you can change the color of the line that you have. This is blue. Let's actually switch it to maybe some a color that we can prominently see on our chart. This is how you will draw a line. Then we have text option. Click on text and it will allow you to actually write something on your chart right here. So this is the text. Then again, we have this option right here. This is going to be the patterns that we can draw for different to keep track of the different fluctuations happening. Moving on, we have icons, scales, zoom in and zoom out so if you want to zoom into something some point let's zoom into this point right here so you're just going to click on it and it will zoom in for you you can see okay so this is the zoomed in view of what happened you can see a very clear view where i am checking everything similarly we have our magnets here and then we have lock and unlock so if you want to lock all the drawing tools that you use you can just click on the log option Hide all drawings, click on it and it will get rid of all the drawings and all of the marks that you draw on that you do on your chart right here. And then we have the delete option that allows you to remove the drawings, remove indicators, remove drawing and indicators. I'm going to do that and get back to my main uh, trading view. So this is actually really easy. And then we have cross to kind of like get back to our minimum view. And then we have, of course, we have our time here, date, the prices. And whenever you move, you will be able to see all of the different, you know, parameters right here at the top. We also have the log and auto option that you can select. So if you want to go with the toggle percentage, toggle log scale or auto scale, you can select the option from here. So yeah, guys, this is how you read a cryptocurrency chart. I hope that I was a big help to you guys. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.